And the 2.3 trillion shilling budget was read out today by Cabinet Secretary Henry Rotich, but there was also a deficit of about 620 billion shillings. How that is going to be uh, breached, uh, the Cabinet Secretary says that's all going to be through long-term concessional loans. But as National Treasury Cabinet Secretary uh, Henry Rotich read what the government tends uh, to with the people's taxes, our reporter Lofty Matumbo hit the slams in Nairobi to find out what their budgets are like and what they do uh, to manage life with the little they have. Take a look. Toilet papers, detergents, cigarettes, tobacco and juices. Just but a few of the mixture of items Faith Mumbua sells in Nairobi's Mkuru slums to her customers. This mixture is a relief to her customers who term her kiosk as their supermarket. The big known supermarkets in the country are a reserve of the halves they lament. The single mom is raising her two daughters out of the proceeds of this business. One is ten and the other five. Her daily expenditure is a hundred shillings only, she hints. Perhaps the reason why she understands the needs of her customers. Faith and her customers have heard of the reading of the national budget, but the anticipated increase in kerosene price due to the 7.2 shillings tax from each sold liter, they cry, is a clear indication that the government considers them not. <laughs> Many areas in Mukuru, just as other slums within Nairobi, have people living in dire circumstances. Sewage and food items are as close as neighbors here. Now Faith understands too well that her economy is as small as the size of this 10 shillings coin. But even as customers flock in to a kiosk buying small items as these groundnuts, she knows that she contributes to the economy of this country. But she complains that the positive impact here at Mukuru is equally minimal. Lofty Matambo, KTN News, in Mukuru, Nairobi.